Okay, so building on this, we are going to learn about naming ionic compounds. So again, we get to talk a lot about salt, but iodized salt contains um, Ki, which is potassium iodide, and this prevents iodine deficiencies. Okay, so that would be like the goiter and stuff like that. So our learning goal for this <clears throat> little video is going to be given the formula of an ionic compound, write the correct name, and given the name of my ionic compound, write the correct formula. <clears throat> so when naming an ionic compound, the name of the metal is written first, and it is the same as the name of the element. And the name of the nonmetal is the first syllable of the nonmetal name plus ide as the ending, and that's written second. And so the spa a space is placed between the names of the metal and the non-metal. And so this will make sense here in a second. So when we have potassium, when then with the iodide would be the non-metal, the compound would be Ki, that would be the, um, the abbreviation for it. And it would be um, pronounced as potassium iodide. So then we have magnesium and bromide, okay? So then putting it together, the metals first, magnesium, bromide would be that. Same with aluminum oxide. Okay, so here is the handy dandy step-by-step -step guidelines for how to do this. And first is going to be identifying the cation and anion. The second is naming the cation by its elemental name. Name the anion by using the first syllable of the element, followed by ide. And then write the name of the cation first and the anion second. So let's name this compound. So the cation potassium is from group 1A and the anion oxygen is from group 6A. So we're going to be naming the cation by its elemental name. And the cation K plus is potassium. And then we're going to name the anion by using the first syllable of its elemental name na uh, followed by ide. So oxygen ox ide. Okay, so then K2O would be potassium oxide. So pause me for a sec and let's practice these guys. So first we're going to be identifying the cation and anion. The cation calcium and the anion oxygen. Cation aluminum, oxygen, magnesium, chlorine. So calcium, aluminum, magnesium. And then oxide, oxide, and chloride, because we're using that first part, and then adding the ide to the end of it. Okay. And then a cation first and anion second. So CaO would be calcium oxide, aluminum oxide, magnesium chloride. Okay. So pretty good. So write the formulas and names and compounds for these following guys. Me. All right, so sodium bromide, aluminum bromide, sodium sulfide, aluminum sulfide, sodium nitride, and then aluminum nitride. Okay, so pretty straight and forward. And once I, again, if, once you get practicing, it ends up like flowing off your tongue. <laughs> 